I reckon I must still be drunk. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You see him, Chipper? There's hope, my friend. Yeah. Damn, my head don't hurt. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <laughs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Ah. Faster, Uncle Arthur. Kyle, need to keep him away from the chickens. All right. Looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there, you mean? I can't wait to get started. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. I'm 
first. We need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! Fish on the line. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Well, let's try again. Whoop, I think I got one. I see, I see. This one's a rock bass. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. 
You know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Can we go now, please? Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. But did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. This necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. 
They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. What happened? My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. My legs all numb. Please hurry. I'll see what I can do. Oh, yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sure. you saved me. Okay. Oh, that was bad. Sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Let's go, boy.
normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Hmm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Close now, just a little further. Come on. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Hello, sir. Hello. Everyone in here is so wonderful. What do you have? I'll tell you, place ain't what it used to be. No brawling this time, all right? Oh, no, I'm on my best behavior. Wouldn't have killed all them redskins for uh, hello, this, sir. I tell you. I don't think I've seen you around here before. I What's it to be? My family freeze to death in the winter of 72. If I'd known. Known about you wretches. That's enough now, John. It's whole damn lot of you. And worth one tree, uh, one buffalo, one redskin. I shot 19 of them once. Well, buffalo, no redskins. Don't know how many redskins are killed, but they deserved it. They weren't Christians, so I sent them to hell. You should have thanked me. All you fools should thank me. Uh, you're thinking about it, I can see. Shit. I never thought nobody Ain't would catch no me with Wild West no more around here. 
Ain't nothing. Nothing nice. Just more goddamn America. More goddamn shops. More goddamn right. prissy Best you women ready for anything, in I reckon. men's clothing. And women in women's clothing thinking Just they must be Just get out of my men. way. Look out. My old Bessie. She could skin a bear with her teeth, so help me God. Feel like having a good Look time right now? Y'all make the fella sick. Thank you. Really. Help a blind man. A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. Learn about tomorrow. Okay, here you are. You didn't run when last we spoke, sir. You didn't run far enough. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it.
Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. <clears throat> And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sap. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? We're never going to get there at this rate. Think so? Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scare face. A right barrel of laughs. <laughs> tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. 
Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire. You focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth and get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. Help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But we should still move quick. Oi, oi, Scarface. Oh, shut up, please. We close, Marston? We're at the railroad. Just carry on a bit further. wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the track. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us hey. on there. All right, get on that Buster. train. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and sure. you oh. get shot. Go. Everything you got. Money, valuables. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. I ain't got nothing. Want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? Money, pay. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I wanna... Oh, damn it. God. Sick is better Here. than dead, lady. And I'm Thank losing you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Look okay, out, huh? You sure about that? Why are you wasting our time? You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around Don't here. Perform well. Don't help me. Come on! Please! Don't Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't make me hurt you. Honey! Ah! 
Bitch. Come on, cough it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear what me? is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Twice a chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. There they are! Oh. The killed on the left! Here come the friends! Ah. We got more coming from the trees there!
That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Yeah. Bullet coming, you don't stop shit. Ah!
I'm here for you. The hell you done to this poor thing? Here. Pleasure. So long.
Good to see you back, Arthur.
Who's gone first? Certainly. My brother taught me to play this during the winter in Vienna. I never beat him once. You know something? You boys don't know you're born. This isn't tough. This is easy. Easy. Hold here. Tough as a dead cow. Surrounded by icebergs. Slowly starving. And then... And then the boat comes down with the plague. And I always die. feel like the odds are especially stacked against me when I play with you, Strauss. It is a game of pure chance, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I bet you can name the last 20 cards. Well, of course, you have to pay some attention. Tough. That ain't tough. See, sharks. That's a holiday. That was real fun. Tough as I got busy. Arriving in a new city. Both your parents newly dead. No one looking after you except some scumbags you meet on the street. Folks start changing and desperate. I'm not making much sense, am I? Fun. No. But somehow you summarized how I feel. Take Dutch's pattern about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't gonna find out sooner than I'd like. One of these days, we'll actually get the man to help with the laundry. <laughs> I wouldn't hold your breath. Let's get you cleaned up. Come then. When are we eating, Pearson? Just hold your horses. Arthur, you know, I think we're gonna be okay. Sure, but what next? All that money, lost in Blackwater. We have licked our wounds. 
Long enough. We do what we do. We make more money, and before they even realize that we're here, we're gonna be gone again. And after that, I ain't losing to these... these fools. Arthur, you know me better than that. We get to work here. We make money, and then we head back out west to freedom. Oh, I ain't wavering, son. Room here if you want. When are we hunting another bear? Uh, maybe not for a while. <laughs> Might be for the best. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, Arthur. Hey. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Morgan. You seem in a good mood. I do. Okay, maybe not then. Sure, well, as you were. So you brought the loudmouth kid back to us. I'm sorry. I wanted them to hang him. <laughs> Boy, he amuses me. You done good, Arthur. Loyalty. Hello, Arthur. 